right, more parallel lines in maths uh, and more geometry. Um, well, they're parallel lines not because they look parallel, but because Sir has drawn a couple of arrows on them like that to indicate that they are parallel. That means, arrows on lines means the lines are parallel. Um, we talked yesterday about these angles, fangles we called them. What was the proper name for fangles? Anybody? Proper name for fangles? Corresponding. Corresponding angles. Well, I'm, I think I've forgotten that. Actually, good work. Um, corresponding angles. Um, angles that are in the same place on our parallel lines here, um, below and to the right of our lines, the red ones below and to the left. And we said that corresponding angles were equal. So we've got two parallel lines and the line that crosses those parallel lines and the line that crosses the parallel lines has a name. Connor? Transversal. Transversal. Well done for knowing that, Connor. What an excellent student. Only a poor student would ever get that wrong. Only a poor teacher would ever allow him to get it wrong. There we go. So we talked about corresponding angles. Today, we're going to talk about a different um, kind of angle on parallel lines. Um, let's start off here. Let's measure that angle there. Let's get our Euclid's protractor out. And here it is. And we'll line it up as carefully as we can. Here it is. I think it's possible to make these protractors bigger, isn't it? Um, but I'm not going to bother. Um, let's go around and measure our angle. Because anybody here can read that angle. It's not as clear as it might be. Zachary, what do you think? 67 degrees. 67 degrees, I think, is a fair measurement. Do we agree, boys? Yes. yes. And not just because it says 67 in the middle either. Um, so, 67 degrees there. Okay. Um, let's do a bit of other work on angles while we're here. If that's 67 degrees, I reckon we know that angle. Who knows what that angle's going to be? Uh, yes, buddy? 113 degrees. Why is it 113 degrees, somebody else? Because, Mitch? Okay, absolutely right. These two angles here are on a straight line, aren't they? And angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if the top one, the higher of the two is 67, the other one must be 113 to make it up to 67 degrees. And I know that that angle is 67 degrees for the same reason, because these two angles here are on a straight line making 180 degrees. And I also know that this angle here is 113 degrees for the same reason. Uh, moving on. But I'm going to get rid of those ones right now because they're not strictly relevant. Um, we'll keep our 67 degree angle. Here it is. And I'm going to measure this one over here. Now, this is an alternate angle. An alternate angle. It's an alternate angle to the 67 um, that we've got down at the bottom. It's alternate because it's on the other side of the transversal. The lower angle's on the right of the transversal. The higher one's on the left of the transversal. And it's also an alternate angle because the lower angle is above the lower parallel line and the higher angle is below the higher parallel line. So it's kind of in the opposite position to the lower angle. Um, and so we call it an alternate angle. Let's measure this one. Let's line up our protractor. Spin it round. Oh, no. Spin it round still. Let's have it that way, shall we? Let's do that. And what do we make? This angle, here it is. What's that angle there, George? 67 degrees again. So we find, just like we found yesterday with our corresponding angle, that our alternate angles are equal. Let's write the word alternate down here. Alternate angles. And just like our corresponding angles made a letter, so we can see that our alternate angles make a letter too. What letter is that, Max? It's a Z. So we can call alternate angles zangles for short, as a way of remembering what they are and what they look like. So there we go. Alternate angles or zangles are equal. That's the golden rule of these things. Um, there are some other angles here, not as many as there were fangles yesterday. Here and here can form a backwards zangle. And that's about it for zangles. There are no other zangles that you can make with one pair of parallel lines anyway. There we go. 
um, angles, alternate angles are equal. That'll do us for now.